Morning, everyone. If everyone could take your seats, um, we'd like to start. Carol is a hard taskmaster, and she told me we must keep on time today. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Lynn Harrigan. I'm the outgoing president of the Canadian Society of Physician Leaders, and in my day job is I'm the vice president of medicine for the Nova Scotia Health Authority. So it's my absolute pleasure to be here on the complete opposite side of the country, trying to get away from my job a little bit, and uh, to be here in beautiful British Columbia. And I'd like to welcome you to the Canadian Conference on Physician Leadership. And if you read your program, you know that the topic today is a call to action physician leaders as stewards of healthcare. And I was asked yesterday how we came up with that topic because it seems quite profound, but actually after the sessions today, we have a lunch and we sit and we chat about what might be a reasonable topic for next year. And this popped out and seemed to resonate with all of us. And I think it's gonna be a very exciting and, and, and innovative couple of days as we talk about this. But those of you who know me know that I'm a I'm, I'm, I'm averse to jargon, and so when I kept looking at that word steward and thought about stewardship, I wasn't really sure I understood what it meant. And so, of course, I went to the dictionary to figure out what the definition might be. So Merriam-Webster says that it's careful and responsible management of something entrusted to one's care. But not to be outdone, uh, Wikipedia said that it's an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. None of those quite did it for me. So the second alternative um, definition for in Wikipedia was it is to shepherd and safeguard the valuables of others. And I guess being a physician, that resonated with me most. So I think that's a daunting task if we're asked to be shepherds, whether we want to be or not, um, and whether or not we've been successful in our role as stewards of the healthcare system. So if you, if you go back 10 years, um, Healthcare costs were 30% of provincial budgets, and that created quite a panic and a stir because they weren't sure how we were going to be able to afford our healthcare system. And today, across the country, healthcare exceeds 40% of most provincial budgets. And the question I ask you today is: our system any different? Um, have we actually achieved our purpose in stewarding the healthcare system? Have we served our communities? Have we dealt with healthcare from birth to death with our patients? If you think the answer is yes, then I think you can close your book and go home, because clearly we've been successful as being stewards. But if I think if you're with me, the answer is no, then I think we have our work cut out for us. I think there is an urgency for us to actually shepherd the healthcare system. And so what I ask you to do over the next two days is you as a leader, I'd like you to think individually how you uh, can address this issue in your own role, in your own community and then how we can address this provincially, and maybe even more importantly, how we address this nationally in all the roles that we serve. I think this promises to be perhaps a bit controversial, but certainly energizing uh, and challenging for us all. And so I just ask you to enjoy the next couple of days. And before we begin, though, I have to go to the housekeeping issues that I must do. So three important notes. One, tomorrow afternoon, it's not in your program, there will be a special interactive uh, workshop held after the conference from 3.30 to 5 in Plaza C, which is on the second floor, for anyone who would like to attend. And the co-authors of our white paper, Accepting Our Responsibility, will be there for our open discussion. That'd be Johnny Venardi and Graham Dixon will be there. And I think that this will be a very important discussion, so if you're not flying away, I come to ask you to come and participate and give your opinion on where we need to go uh, with the information that we have. Second, the, our business meeting will be held tomorrow morning from 7.45 to 8.25, and that will be in Regency B, not in Georgia A. And breakfast is served in that room, and that's for anyone who is a member of the CSPL, and we encourage you to attend that meeting. We also welcome em everyone to attend the presentation of the uh, CSPL Leadership Award and the uh, giving of the CCPE credentials tonight. Um, uh, that will be held here, and then a reception for everyone. A welcome reception will be happening elsewhere. It would be nice for you to all to attend and to, and to, to congratulate those who have achieved their credentials. Now, the conference sessions are very full, and so you're all on the honor system. So on the back of your cards actually says the workshops that you signed up to attend, and we please ask that you attend the workshop that you signed up for, uh, because we have uh, problems with capacity in the workshops. And finally, I'd like to thank the sponsors and ask all of you to make sure you can visit their booths uh, throughout the day. Our level one sponsors, the Canadian Medical Association, level two, Doctors of BC, 
Canada Health Infoway and Petal MD, and our Level 3 sponsors, the College of Family Physicians of Canada, Canadian Foundation for Healthcare Improvement, CMPA, and Royal Roads University. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first speaker, uh, Peter Block. Uh, Peter is an author, consultant, and citizen of Cincinnati, Ohio. His work is about chosen accountability and the reconciliation of community. Peter's books are about ways to create workplaces and communities that work for all. They offer an alternative to the patriarchal beliefs that dominate our culture. His work is to bring change in the world through consent and connectedness rather than through mandate and force. So please welcome me in joining uh, Peter when he talks to us about stewardship, healthcare, and the common good.